Reports are stating that Tottenham have told former manager Jose Mourinho, hands off, Eric Dyer and Pierre-Emil Hoybier are not for sale. The Spurs women have just finished their season in the WSL with a win. Reports are stating that Gareth Bale wants a return to Real Madrid. A former Spurs midfielder has come out and said that we need a whole new defence. Premier League legend Alan Shearer has told Harry Kane, go to another club and win trophies. And reports are stating that Spurs may well look at a previous target as a new head coach. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start today's video by talking about four results in the Premier League from Sunday. Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Brighton Hove Albion 1, Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 3, West Ham United 0, Everton 1 and Arsenal 3, West Bromwich Albion 1. After Sunday's results in the Premier League, Tottenham remain 7th. We have played 35, won 16, drawn 8 and lost 11, have a goal difference of plus 20, have 56 points. We are 7 points away from 4th place Leicester. We are 2 points away from 5th place West Ham and only a point behind 6th place Liverpool. Liverpool have played a game less and Everton, with their win, um, they are just behind us in 8th place. Uh, 55 points from 34 matches, so they still have a game in hand over Spurs. Premier League games will take place all week, every single day. On Monday, Fulham will face Burnley. On Tuesday, Manchester United will play Leicester and Southampton will play Crystal Palace. On Wednesday, Chelsea will face Arsenal. On Thursday, Aston Villa v Everton and Manchester United v Liverpool. And on Friday, Newcastle United will play Manchester City. A report has been published by the Daily Star and they are stating that Gareth Bale wants Real Madrid return and Spurs star may be given another chance. Gareth Bale was sent out on loan to Tottenham this season after falling out of favour at Real Madrid. But he still expects to return and to become a key member of the Real Madrid squad again next term. Also, according to the Spanish publication AS, they are stating that Gareth Bale believes he has done enough work to work his way back into the Real Madrid side next season. A report has been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham send clear Jose Mourinho transfer message over two Spurs stars that the Roma boss is keen on. Tottenham have sacked Jose Mourinho, but they are not rid of him yet. This report then goes on to say that Tottenham have told Jose Mourinho he will have no chance trying to sign either Eric Dyer or Pierre-Emil Hoybier this summer for AS Roma. The two players were first team regulars under the special one, with the latter being brought in last summer as his first summer purchase. And according to the Sun newspaper, Spurs have actually told Jose Mourinho he has no chance of signing either of them in the summer. Eric Dyer still has three years left on his current contract and has made over 270 appearances for the club since arriving in 2014 for £4 million. While Pierre-Emil Hoybier has not missed a Premier League match this campaign after becoming the midfield linchpin that Tottenham craved following a £15 million move from Southampton. Premier League legend Alan Shearer, of course, TV pundit now with Match of the Day. He has again told Harry Kane to leave Tottenham Hotspur Football Club in order to win trophies. Talking on Match of the Day on Saturday night, he said, I left Blackburn Rovers a season after we won the title and we were nowhere near winning the title again. So that kind of made my mind up because I wanted to go on and do things. He then said if Harry Kane wants an excuse, then Tottenham and that team are giving him one because they didn't show up for the cup final and they didn't show up again against Leeds United. If I was in his position, I'd be looking elsewhere to go and try and win some trophies. 
Another match of the day pundit. This time, Ian Wright has been talking all about Tottenham and said that Tottenham just weren't at the races at Ellen Road on Saturday. He said, we've seen it with Serge Aurier and even with Sergio Reglon as well. They just weren't at the races. You can talk about Leeds and Leeds United stamina and energy, but look where Serge Aurier is and look where Reglon is. Look at them trying to get back. Same with Reglon. That is not trying to get back. A report has been published by the Daily Star and they are stating that Tottenham may turn to boss. Daniel Levy was desperate to sign before Jose Mourinho. Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy will be keen to appoint a new boss as soon as possible following the departure of Jose Mourinho. And he might well look at a previous target. It then states that Tottenham could turn to Lazio boss Simone Inzaghi ahead of Fulham coach Scott Parker as they look to rebuild following the departure of Jose Mourinho and Carabao Cup final heartbreak. Spurs look set to miss out on Champions League qualification following an inconsistent Premier League season during which they sat top after 12 matches with 7 victories and 4 draws. It then states, while Ajax opted to extend the contract of Eric Ten Hag amid his links to North London, both Scott Parker and Brendan Rodgers have been linked to the hot seat with experience of English top flight. However, Inzaghi has now jumped to the top of the linked targets, with chairman Daniel Levy said to have been keen on the 45-year-old before Jose Mourinho replaced Maurizio Pochettino. It then states that Inzaghi is considered as one of the coaches that brought the 3-5-2 formation back into Italian football, one other being Premier League and Serie A winning boss Antonio Conte. Having won 133 of his 247 games as Lazio boss, he oversaw Coppa Italia victory in 2019, as well as two Coppa Italia Italiana triumphs and a fourth place league finish last season. Former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Paul Stewart has come out and said that Tottenham Hotspur need a whole new defence. He said they probably need a whole new back four or a back five, if I'm honest. They're going to have to spend big and shore up that back four because, for me, it has been the weakest part of Spurs all season. Nobody convinces me at the back. I don't feel that there is a recognised centre-half. Paul Stewart then went on to say Manchester City brought in Diaz and he's certainly come in and revolutionised their defence. I believe that Spurs need to look at that part of the squad and really invest. I'm not overly concerned about the midfield at this present time. I'd rather shore up the defence than look at what we may need in midfield. On Sunday afternoon, the Tottenham Hotspur women beat Birmingham City women 1-0 in our final Barclays FA Women's Super League game of the season at Damson Park. After a tight game, Kit Graham scored the winner with 20 minutes remaining after she finished off a superb solo effort. So the Tottenham Hotspur women's season has now officially come to an end. Out of 12 teams in the Women's Super League, Tottenham Hotspur women finished in 8th place, played 22, won 5, drawn 5 and lost 12, have a goal difference of minus 23, have 20 points. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.